whiskey lovers and welcome to another one of Mark's Whiskey Ramblings. I'm actually in Toulouse, as you can see, I'm, I'm here working for Katawiki at the Whiskey Festival of Toulouse. And Katawiki, obviously, is that platform where we bring buyers and sellers together. And my team and myself, we are responsible for everything that is golden liquid, including whiskey. But being here at the Whiskey Festival, I thought it was a good idea to do a whiskey rambling about a bottle that I brought with me, you know, to spread the word. And this is actually a single cask from the Milk and Honey Distillery. Luck, uh, luck would have it that uh, Odette Weiss is actually here and we, we talked about this because he actually selected this cask and this was bottled for a good friend of mine in the Netherlands, Marcel Kip, who is actually the Battle Baron. So a single cask of uh, a young milk and honey distillery for the Barrel Baron and this is bottled at 67.3% ABV. So you would think, oh my God, let's call the fire department. This is, this is 67.3. Anyway, uh, it's, a, it's a single bourbon cask. Uh, it was distilled in the 20th of March, 2018 and bottled on the 21st of December, 2021, making this a three years old. 150 bottles only, and like I said, ex bourbon at 67.3% ABV. Wow. Full golden, and truth be told, it's just a tiny wee bit hot to be drinking whiskey. It's, it's, it's around 30 degrees here in Toulouse, but hey, that never stopped anyone from enjoying a good whiskey on the nose. It is very powerful indeed, and I get vanilla, Werther's original, and quite a bit of lime in there marzipan soft herbs it's quite herbal in fact i get some ferns i get some hay honey nice honey and truth be told on the nose this is downright brilliant oh this is such a nice profile lovely 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 on the palate mm. Mm. cloying mouth coating full-bodied quite powerful indeed well 67.3 let me just repeat that but nevertheless this is you, you absolutely do not have to call the fire department speak of perfect integration you would think this would need lots of water but it does not need any water at all it's beautiful very spicy though but a nice intensity but not a burning sensation so a nice heat sensation without burning without scorching at all it's not biting it's actually very soft and i get i get toasted oak i get it's got this this tiny salty edge in there sweet and sour on grapefruit uh, a nice sweet layer of honey there's loads of honey in there counterbalancing the spices smoothing things out and then some caramel and vanilla on top outstanding and i'm not sure if any of you have tried the milk and honey dead sea the Dead Sea cask is one of my favorites from the Milk and Honey Distillery. But this one, quality-wise, taste-wise, on par. At least on par. This is a very impressive cask selection by Marcel on the finish. Now that finish is long, warm, spicy, sweet, and lots of wood smoke towards the death. Oh man, this is good. Excellent, excellent choice. So uh, kudos to Marcel for uh, you know having the audacity because if we're, if we're honest, the Battle Baron is still uh, a new kid on the block. He's only been at it for less than two years and already he has the audacity to bottle a single cask of this magnitude. And kudos too to the, uh, the people of uh, the Milk and Honey Distillery that they can conjure up this sort of thing out of their stills and then have it matured on an ex bourbon cask and after three years to become such a flavor bomb so well done indeed well done indeed this is excellent and uh, that my friends is all for this whiskey rambling because i have to get back to work if you can call it that that's all for this whiskey rambling and i hope to see it one of mark's whiskey ramblings real soon and until then may them all be with you Bye.